Hi everyone, this is Mandy from the English Language Library in Angers. Today I'm going to show you how you can reserve a book using the library's online catalog. So this process will be helpful for you when the library is open for click and collect, as well as during normal times if you would like to reserve a book outside of the lockdown. So to reserve a book, you're going to need access to the internet, either by computer, tablet, or smartphone. And you're going to need to know your library username and password. So if you have your library card with you at home, that will help you to find your username and password. Okay, so to start, you're going to want to open the library's website www.elia.org, E-L-L-I-A.org. So I'm going to bring that up on the screen for you. Okay. This is the library's homepage. If you want to access our catalog, you're going to, we can click on using the library going to click on using the library and here you have catalog. Click here for access to the catalog. Uh, easy as pie. <laughs> you have two other links to get you to the catalog even faster. One at the top of the page on the red bar, click here catalog, or under using the library you can select catalog from the drop down menu. That will, all these links will bring you to the same place. Okay, so I'm going to click here for access to the catalog. And now you can see uh, the home page for the library's catalog. It's called Destiny Discover. Welcome to the English Language Library in Angers. So you're in the right place. And you're going to want to log in. I'm going to move my video here. Let's see. You'll select log in at the top right hand corner of the page and here it's going to ask for your username and password so that's where your card is going to come in handy at the library everyone has a barcode on their card starting with the numbers two four zero 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 and depending on when you received your card you have more or less zeros I only have three, you may have four or five. What's important for you are the numbers after those zeros. So I'm looking here at the barcode. If you look, there's a very small number printed. The numbers after the zeros, that's your username for your library account. So go ahead and type that in under username, and your password is your first name in lowercase letters. So go ahead and type in your password and click submit. You can see it down here, trouble logging in, ask a librarian, don't hesitate. Even during the lockdown, we're still available to help you. You can contact us by phone and by email. I'll talk about that at the end. Okay, so now I've logged into my account. If you want to verify that you're on your account, bring your mouse up to the top right hand corner. Okay, if you click on the little guy here, you'll see profile. It should say your first and last name. I'm on the library manager's account right now, uh, but it should say your first and last name. Okay, now if you want to search for a book, uh, you can use this search bar at the top of the page. Here you can see recently added books, uh, lots of nice, nice new books coming in, and popular titles. Uh, so, you're looking for a book today. I want to borrow an old classic. I'm looking for To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. So I'll type the title in. Kill a Mockingbird. I have different options that popped up, but none of these are what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to hit enter and see what happens. Okay, everything in the catalog under To Kill a Mockingbird will have come up. 
Now I'm looking for the novel today, so I see the first option on my list is a DVD. Uh, it, the, the story was adapted into film, and it's not what I'm looking for. You can see here DVD, call number DVD. So uh, luckily that's not what I'm looking for because it's out. The DVD is currently borrowed. You can see at the top left-hand corner, uh, it's written out in red letters. So you can reserve a book or a DVD that is currently borrowed, but you'll have to wait until it comes back to the library. So next on my list, I have To Kill a Mockingbird, Harper Lee book. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. And I'm in luck because it's in, it's available right now. You can see in green, it's written in. So if this is the book that you're looking for, you can go ahead and click hold. Hold means reserve. There we go. At the bottom, I have a message to kill a mockingbird is now available. Please pick up your reservation before the 20th of December. We're going to give you an entire month to pick up your order. We ask that you wait 24 hours after placing your hold online so that we can prepare your order at the library. Okay, so if you're not sure if this is the title that you're looking for, let's see, we're going to scroll down. Go Set a Watchman. Okay, also by Harper Lee. This is another novel, prequel to To Kill a Mockingbird. If you're not sure if this is the book you're looking for, or you haven't heard of this title, you can click on the title. And here I have a description. Okay, in the mid 50s, you're going to read more about the novel. And if that novel looks interesting, of course, you can hold it. You have another button here, click hold, and that book will be reserved for you. So if you'd like to learn more about a book, don't hesitate to read into it. Okay, so there you go. That's how you reserve a book, a DVD, or an audiobook at the library. Easy as pie. If you're not sure what you're looking for, you don't have to search by title. Up at the search bar, you can also use a keyword search, subject, or search by author. So you have to play around with it and browse our collection. Hopefully you'll be inspired and find something new to read. Now, if you have trouble logging in or if you have trouble uh, reserving a book, don't hesitate to contact us. You can uh, reach the library by phone and by email at info at elia.org. I'm going to leave our contact details in the description below. Okay, thanks everyone for joining me. I hope you found this tutorial helpful for you today. Don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks, bye-bye.